Alright, so this is how my Mac works for all y'all people who can't figure it out. Um, Alright, rubber band is attached down there under that brick. Goes all the way to the length of the barrel. There's the clip. Normally a round would be in there, but I can't show that because it would spring the rounds up if I don't have a top on right there. Alright, here it is. And the trigger's right here. Right now it's on safety, as you can see right here. This can't go any more forward because it wants to go. That's the opposite way. When you do this, see how the back other gear is pulling backwards? Well, this gear, this wants to turn that way. Well, that's stopping it. Take it off safety. Alright, and now this is pretty much how it works. You see my fingers on the trigger down there. When you pull the trigger... It lets it spin once. And notice the gear back here, how it shifts slowly upward. Every time you pull the trigger, it moves. Um, I think it's either two or two and a half little teeth on this gear. It moves two or two and a half. So then you just keep doing it. Normally there'd be a round in here, and the round would be right between the rubber bands. Actually, hold on one sec. This is a bit close. You can probably fit maybe 10 rubber bands on before the rubber bands start getting in the way of the round and it won't fire. There it goes. And normally then it would pull the round. There's a mag. It would pull the round because the round would be pushed up against. The power of this rubber band is stronger than the one pushing up. So it'll rip it out, force it down the barrel and out. Alright, that's pretty much it. I hope that um, gives y'all what you need. Um, if you still need more help, I could do step-by-step -step instructions for a gun. Um, Alright, thanks for watching this. Subscribe isn't that important, but I pr appreciate rates and comments. So, yeah. Alright, thanks. Adios.